There's been a lot said about a certain Boise State professor over the last few weeks and a lot said about what he said last month. A lot of it, like most of it, not good. BSU political science professor Scott Yenner, Dr. Scott Yenner, went to a national conservatism conference in early November in Florida. There he gave a 15 minute speech about what he called uh, middling career feminism and the personal and political evils that flow from it, saying things like feminism has sold many a bill of goods, calling quote, communal family life, the casualty of feminism. It's on YouTube if you want to see it. Well, that video surfaced around Thanksgiving and it sparked a very vocal outcry and attention from across the country. Most of that from right here at home. But it also spurred one Boise State student to actually do something more than just condemn his comments. Ali Orr is a senior marketing student. You know that mid-level bureaucratic field where Dr. Yenner claims women seek their purpose? Well, about a week after learning about Dr. Yenner and his beliefs, Allie found her purpose. She started a GoFundMe to raise money for a BSU scholarship for women in STEM, medicine, and law-related fields. And as of showtime, it has raised about $38,000, about 12,000 shy of their goal, but good enough to officially fund a $25,000 endowment to help female students at Boise State feel supported to pursue any degree and career path they choose, she says. Well, they raised that $25,000 in just three days, and next semester, one student will be awarded that scholarship. This morning, Allie walked us through how she was inspired to make the best of a bad situation. The feminist ethic of careerism and easy sex is a recipe for national disaster. As a student, you always assume that your professors have your best interest in mind and that they're always there having your back. They are more medicated, meddlesome, and quarrelsome than women need to be. And so for a professor to say, I don't believe in your education, yet he teaches women, that feels completely wrong. Every effort must be, must be made not to recruit women into engineering, but rather to recruit and demand more of men who become engineers. How does that not make you feel like you're not welcome? What, yeah, is that what you took from it? Yeah. Like you shouldn't as a woman? be in this school or be in these fields of study? Yeah, he said, recruit more men, not women. What does that say to me? Don't go into those fields because I can't do as much as men can. That's terrible. Meet Scott Yenner. The response on social media the and from the community was swift. Shout it out. Dr. Yenner then responded himself. Feminists are outraged about a talk I recently gave, and I've become an object of their hatred on TikTok. And the response there? Just as angry. Allie saw that too. And one of the Twitter replies was, someone should make a scholarship in Scott's name. And I thought, that is such a wonderful idea. And so that night, uh, or that day, I called my parents and I said, I think I'm going to make a scholarship. Because how else are we going to say no to this? I mean, I don't have control over him being a professor or him being at Boise State, but I do have control over what I can say no to. And so that night I made the GoFundMe and I sent out an email to like 80% of the staff, faculty and professors at Boise State and the subject line read scholarship for medicated, meddlesome and quarrelsome women. Let me find the email. As a female student at Boise State University, I was deeply disheartened to hear that a professor would discourage women from enrolling in higher education, especially women in STEM, medicine, and law. As a result, I've created a GoFundMe to fund a scholarship for women pursuing STEM, medicine, and law studies. And then I went to bed and I was so scared. <laughs> and I woke up Friday and suddenly there was like $2,000 in there already. <laughs> and then by probably about 7 p.m. Friday, we had 10,200. That was crazy. Your parents told you, be mm -hmm. careful, this is, could be controversial. Yeah. Is it controversial? So at the beginning, I was really nervous for any kind of hate I'd receive for doing this. And then I thought, you telling women to not be in school or in these fields of study, how is that controversial? It's just wrong. There's a right side of this and I'm on it. What do you hope this scholarship does? I want this scholarship to one, make a statement right now that says this community doesn't believe everything that Scott says. We don't believe anything he says. And two, going forward, because it's an endowed scholarship, I want women to know, and it's in the description in the scholarship, that you, you're probably gonna face obstacles because you are women in these fields of studies, but people have your back. We shouldn't be telling women what to do, and I think that's what this scholarship stands for, and say so we should be providing opportunities for anyone to choose what they wanna do. So do you feel like 
something good has come out of something not so good? Yes, because I think all this money that went to the scholarship, it would have turned into hate comments or hate voicemails or things that he's already received. And I think it's diminished some of that because we've been able to channel those emotions into something that's actually productive and positive and turn the attention away from him and onto the people he's hurt and actually help them. You said based on that Twitter response, mm -hmm. you said somebody should start a scholarship in, with his name, but his name isn't on here. His name is not on there. His name will not be on there. He doesn't deserve a legacy. The women of Boise State deserve a legacy. And yes, this is created to combat people like him, but he has no say and he has no mark on this scholarship. I mean, that seems, that seems almost more empowering, I think. It does. Um, yeah, I, yeah. So the scholarship doesn't mention Dr. Yenner by name, but you know whose name is on it? Allie's, and she'd rather not have it there because it was only made possible with everyone else's money, but they said they needed a name on it and she was the one who saw it through. She said that first 10,000 and about 80% of that came from Boise State staff, faculty, and professors that all chipped into that GoFundMe. However, despite sending that original email to Boise State President Dr. Marlene Trump and the administration, Allie says she's disappointed that she hasn't heard from them. Although we did get a response from the school just this afternoon, in fact, just moments before we started the show, Allie said she understands the complexity of the situation. Yenner is a tenured professor, First Amendment rights, but this is what the school had to say about Ali starting this scholarship. Dr. Trump supports student scholarships and is grateful for Ali's coordination and promotion of women in STEM through the creation of a newly established scholarship. She is thrilled with the outpouring of support from our community and the financial commitment of our donors who have given to such an important and critical effort. Dr. Trump went on to say that she immediately asked Matthew Ewing, Vice President for University Advancement, and his team to connect with Ali directly. And that kind of has how all this kind of all went through the process. And it was a I mean, despite how quickly it came together, it was quite a process, Ali says. So one good thing that came out of this, another good thing, I should say, because of the money that they've raised, their goal again is to get to 50,000. And if they do, Ali says it will fund two endowment scholarships for women who want to pursue studies in science, technology, math, medicine and law. And before we forget, we want to know or we wanted to mention we did reach out to Dr. Genner today to ask how we felt about inspiring a scholarship like this. We even stopped by his office during office hours. He wasn't there and he has yet to respond.